Guys, hey, it is your boy Brock. I am here with Zach. Hello there. Um, it has been a long time. Um, how long has it been since we've done one of these things? Uh, months. I I don't even know what we call this. Is this even a podcast? I forgot what a podcast is all about. Um. Yeah, bro, mostly Brock. Brock, I, I'll put the blame on Brock for freaking out. Hey, I, I, I'll put the blame on myself as well. I'm busy. All right. <laughs> MLB first. White Sox manager Tony La, 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 Tony Larusa goes into second place in all-time managerial wins. Riley, be quiet. He passed John McGraw. Uh, now he's second all-time in managerial wins. Congrats. Let's give a clap to him. Congratulations. It's a big accomplishment. Um, the, I've seen what, well, I know baseball a lot. I think this is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in an MLB game. The netting collapsed. In a Washington National game, uh, the netting collapsed and fell on the baseball people. I've never seen that before. The game was delayed, but it just collapsed. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Um... You guys can look up the video. It is the most bizarre thing ever. Um, I've never seen that before. Uh, the Chicago Cubs and Chicago White Sox approved for 100% capacity for fans. That is amazing right there um, to see. What is your opinion on this, that we're finally getting 100% capacity in some sports places? Um, I think I absolutely love this because uh, a lot of people are getting the vaccine. Um, starting to get to a normal life, you would say. Um, yeah. How, how do you, what do you think about this? I, I, I think 100% capacity is what we need in sports world right now. Because, mm, Indianapolis Colts. Um, huh? Mm, and nothing, nothing. <clears throat> Indianapolis Colts. Mm. Denver Broncos, too. Um, those are the only two teams that... Shame on them. Huh? Shame on them. No, they... It's just that they're not approved for it yet. Yeah. But they will be. Yeah. It, it, it'll it take time, just... I don't know what the hold up Riley, is. zip it. My dog's yelling at me right now. I don't, um, I don't know what the hold up is, but... Yeah. It, it, it'll happen. It'll, it'll happen. happen. It'll happen. Yeah. yeah. But I think we can rejoice now that, like, we're... It's, I feel like we're finally getting back. It's finally going well. Um, We have sport... Like, I, I, I'm going to say this. Like, sports without fans is not sports. Um, the fans in the sport mean so much. To the atmosphere. I've heard players from. Uh, I've heard. Oh, yeah. I've heard Broncos some day. sports players say like, "Hey, these these fans mean everything." Um, it's very hard for them when they don't have any fans in attendance because there's not any atmosphere. You can't get hype or anything like that. Um, so yeah, the fans mean a lot. Um, glad that we're getting to a hundred percent capacity. Now, this is huge MLB news. MLB announced pen that there will be a penalty if you are caught for, if pitchers are caught for a foreign substance, they will get a 10 game suspension. Um, now, I have some thoughts on this. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors of MLB pitchers uh, using foreign substances. And in the MLB announcement, they said that the the umpires will regularly check MLB pitchers for foreign substances. Um, and, for example, Garrett Cole was accused of it. Uh, and he made one of the dumbest answers ever, so we knew that he was using foreign substances. He got uh, caught on TV. Yeah. That, did you hear his answer? Did you, did you hear what he said to the reporter? No. Oh, you had to look it up. I think it's the I think it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard a professional athlete say. 
he tried to avoid answering that. So we knew he was using foreign substances. Um, we, when an MLB player uh, was is asked about a foreign substance and they refuse to answer it, you know that they're cheating. Um, shame on you, Garrett Cole. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just, let's move into some uh, NFL news. Uh, very uh, heartwarming news. T.J. Olsen got a heart transplant. Um, very glad for him. Uh, if you don't know, T.J. Olsen is the son of uh, Greg Olsen. Um, we're very happy for him. Uh, he got a heart transplant. That is very good news. Um, and we're not going to go into the big news yet. We're going to save that thing for the last. Uh, Baltimore Ravens re-signed their uh, running back Gus Edwards on a two-year, $10 million deal. Uh, another sad news, former New York Giants head coach Jim Fassel dies at age 71. Um, R.A.P. Jim Fassel. Um, the big news that... Do you have an opinion on the Julio Jones trade? Because I sure do. It's going to be... I mean, the Titans are going to be a component now. AJ no Brown and Julio Jones, dude. That is uh, AJ Brown and Julio Jones, dude. That is unreal. Yes. Now I have an opinion on this. I don't know if you caught it, but how in the world did they not get a first round pick for this? Uh, how on earth did this happen without a first round pick in the mix? Like, when you're, when you're talking, let me tell you this first. Where do you rank Julio Jones as wide receiver in the NFL right now? What, oh, where does he rank? Basically top five. Yeah. He's going to be top five. And for you to trade him and not get a first round pick, the Titans, the Titans would have won the trade anyway, but they fleeced the... Falcons, they never got a, the Falcons never got a first rounder. Falcons never got a first round pick out of this trade, which I think is baffling. That, that's, that's completely, that's stupid. I think it's baffling. When you're talking about Julio Jones, I thought, to be honest, when I thought this trade was going to happen, I thought it was worth at least two first round picks, to be oh, honest. Yeah. Without a doubt. To be honest, I, I was thinking round, two minimum. Second round. And maybe a, a late rounder. But yeah, they the Falcons got a second round pick, a fourth round pick, and a sixth round pick. That is, I don't think I've. I don't know what the Falcons are doing. Um, feel bad for Matt Ryan. Um, yeah. Well, everybody should feel bad about. Feel bad for Matt Ryan. He lost his number one target. That's like if you lose your best friend and he travels across the world and like you don't find um, another best friend and you're although, alone. I think Calvin Ridley is gonna go off this year. Yeah, but but I'm just saying. For example, I think if your best friend moves across the world and you don't find a best friend for another year, I think this is what Matt Ryan's going through right now. To be honest. <laughs> Like, he's just lonely right now. Like, the best friend that you've known for life, and he just moves across the world, and you're lonely for the next year. I think that's what Matt Ryan's going through right now. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the Atlanta Falcons. I feel bad. NBA. Uh, James Harden got hurt. Um... He was hurt, and he's out. He was out um, uh, last game. I think hamstring injury, right? But the Nets, anyway, just are doing so well right now, even without him. The Nets are unfair, dude. They're unfair. They beat the Bucks. They beat the Bucks so bad. 
and they did have James Harden. Like, do you think, are you calling it now that it's over, the Nets win the championship? Or do you think... Well, if, if the Bucks get their game right, it could be a problem for the Nets, the Nets game. What are they? Are they up 1-0 or 2-0? I, I couldn't remember. 2-0. 2-0, yeah. But I mean, the Nets... Is there team another team that is going to catch the Nets? Bucks do something to disrupt uh, Durant and Irving. That's a problem. Then that, Trying to that, stop Durant? Here, hold on. That's that, that's the problem, first off. How in the world do you stop Durant? Durant is so hard to guard. There's there's a way to stop him. Yeah, there is, but it's difficult. It's difficult. Um, Let's go to NHL. We haven't talked about NHL. Playoff hockey is electric, dude. It is electric. Have you watched playoff hockey? Um, I ha- I have the I have the past couple years. I haven't this I year, haven't. bro. They, it's electric. Fans are into it. It's electric, dude. I've been getting into playoff hockey more than I ever have before, and it is electric, dude. It is amazing to watch. Um, but yeah, playoff hockey, I, I love it. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I needed to say about playoff hockey. Playoffs, I haven't been watching because I've been on vacation and and stuff lately, but how far are they into it now? Um. Who's in it, I should say, as of right now? Well, I know the first round is over. We're in round two, uh, the Avalanche and the Golden Knights, um, the Islanders and Bruins, the Canadians swept the Jets, so they are in it, and then the Lightning moves on to the third round. So we got Knights, Avalanche, Islanders, Bruins, Canadians, Lightning. Okay. So sadly, Nashville's out. Huh? Sadly, Nashville was out. They got beat. Yeah. Oh, man. Bro, the Bruins and Islanders, they are... It's a good... Tonight at 6.30, Bruins and Islanders... That this that series been unbelievable. That series been unbelievable. Um, college, we got some big college news. I think college news we can break this down a lot. Alabama football coach Nick Saban is gonna coach till he's dead. I'm gonna say it. He's gonna coach till he's dead. Did you see the extension that Nick Saban got? Did oh, you? Is it that the goal for him? He's he doesn't plan on retiring anytime soon. But did you? St- well, of course, because did you see what it? Did you see what his extension was? No, I've been on vacation. I haven't been on Twitter. Or okay, anything. okay, okay. So he's extended through twenty twenty eight. Well, yeah, and I see that going long after twenty twenty eight. I see that going longer. He's set to make eight point four million this season. And he will, he will receive a contract. Uh, he will receive a contract completion benefit of eight hundred thousand every year. Wow, that's for his new contract. So every year he's going to get eight thousand, eight hundred thousand. Wow. Yeah, and then. Uh, I will be surprised if you didn't hear about this. Coach K for Duke. He's retiring. Dad said something about that over vacation. Yeah. 
Let's give a clap for Coach K right now. Let's let's give it up for Coach K. Come on, clap for him. There we go. Man, he Coach K is one of the best coaches ever. Um he has done unbelievable. Um I mean, Hall of Fame coach. Bro, like, I can't say, if I had to go into talking about Coach K, I'd be here for an hour, but I'll sum this up. He's one of the greatest coaches ever in basketball. One of the best. One of the best. Um, but yeah. What do you have to say about uh, Coach K? He's leaving behind big shoes to fill. Yeah. College. Imagine you had to fill in, in that, for in, the, that, in that program alone. He's leaving big shoes to fill. Dude, so. imagine you have to fill in for him. The next coach has to. Oh, like. The expectations for that new coach? Oh, yeah. is beyond. I feel bad for the new coach that whoever Duke gets for the new coach. Oh, who who was your last coach? Oh, I have to fill in for Coach K. Like, huge yeah. expectations. I mean, yeah. Coach K, one of the best coaches ever. Um, but... Retiring after a long time, um, he coaches USA Basketball, too. Um, USA Basketball, um, five-time national champion, champion for Duke. Here, 12 Final Fours, 15 ACC Men's Basketball cha Champion, 12 ACC Regular Season Titles. Man. But yeah, um, what do you have to ta say about Coach K? I mean, I can't, I, I don't know what to say because I, don't, I never watched that team closely enough. I didn't either, but like his record, it, I'll show you, I'll give you his record. He's 1,097 and 302 as a head coach. Which is impressive. Very. I mean, he, he, he knew the game. He was, he was smart. He was, um, he, he knew how to defend Knew how to teach his players right, and you you'll be missed in that program, yeah. probably yeah. very deeply. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how 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 much he's missed in the past in the next upcoming years, because I, I think there's a lot of pressure for for that program to do well. Yeah, I'm going to write out the, uh, we're going to do this thing, I'm going to call it the Twitter poll of the day. Uh, will Coach K get a statue at Duke? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I'd be surprised if he didn't. Okay, there we go. I did it. Right, yep. That's on my Twitter right now. Will Coach K get a uh, statue at Duke? Um, we ran out of the stuff. I don't know. Do you have anything else that, uh, you know what's going on? Do we talk? You're not, we're not going to talk about Vinatieri? 
Oh, shoot, that's right. I've, dude, I remember, I was watching that live when he said that. Adam Vinatieri is retiring. Man. Probably one of the best kickers of all time. Yeah. If there's any guy that I want to be a kicker on my team, it was Vinatieri. Oh, yeah. He's, um... One of the greatest. Oh, yeah, he's definitely one of the greatest. I have him, well, on the Madden mobile app, you can, like... Yeah. Build your team. He's, and they did a career tribute to Vinatieri after he retired. And I, I have, and I got his card, so now he's a player on my ultimate Madden team. He will always be. <clears throat> because he's, he's a good kicker. And I, yeah. Yeah, Vinatieri, one of the best. Um, he's gonna be missed. Um, but yeah, anything else that we missed? Not that I recall. I mean, we missed a lot of stuff because we. Yeah, but I I just don't want to talk about the stuff that like. Months, but. Like I I don't want to talk about the stuff that happened two months ago because like it's not yeah because it's already been discussed and like it's already been done yeah yeah um hold on I think we just oh wow we just got breaking news NBA news breaking news hold on there's a bunch of breaking news going on right now hold on wait a minute so NBA news, breaking news, flash it up on the screen. The Pacers have just fired their head coach. The Pacers have fired their head coach. All right. And then that's not all. That's not all. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold it. Hold it. Um. I'm holding on. What do you want me to do? Brown suspend chief of staff. Who? There's chief of staff, Callie Brownson. I don't know what that is all about. But the Pacers did fire their coach, Nate Bajorkin. Hmm. So the Indiana Pacers are going to have to find a new coach. All right, well then, I think that's all right. We're going to have to do this more regularly every week now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Just Brock doesn't freak out. I won't. Hopefully. Oh, you do it. Hopefully. All right, guys, that's going to be the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, uh, click the bell so you don't miss any more videos. I'll see you all later. Peace.